Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm going to talk about mounting the PS5 vertically or horizontally. Now, it comes with this adapter, and on my last video, I said that you should mount it vertically only, and I have my own reasons for that. So I understand you can use this adapter, but I'm going to show you guys why I don't think this is the best way to use it, even though it does come in a box, and the instruction manual says you can use it. So here we have a PS4 Pro. You can see it's a complete square. It's very solid to the table. I can hit all the corners, it works well. So in this video, we're gonna mount this onto this adapter and I'm gonna show you where you might get frustrated. So sit back and relax, let's get started. The first thing I wanna show you guys that this is the PS5 instruction book and it shows you how to mount it in a horizontal position. Now on the back of it, it has these little stars on it. You can see right there and we're gonna slide it on there. So on this video, I'm gonna show you exactly that. So here's the back of the PS5 and here's all the little symbols that you see in the instruction book. So let's go ahead and put the mount onto the PlayStation so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. So here's the PlayStation mounted horizontally on the supplied adapter. Now one thing is that it is pretty stable on some of the corners, but you gotta keep in mind that this may get some rough play. So if you need to move things around or plug things in the back, you can see part of that could be the issue. The second issue I have is, watch this, one finger. I just completely slid it off the base. Now from this side, let's use one finger again. So if you're telling me that this mount works, then i uh, not sure what to say because in my opinion, a lot of people change wires, they use it for charging and things like that. So to me, this looks like frustration waiting to happen. So here's the last example I would use. So let's say you have this in an entertainment center and you need to get to the wires. So you can just grab it. You can then see all the wires, plug in what you need, turn it back, you're good to go. Now let's try it on a PS5. So again, we have this in an entertainment center we want to go ahead and turn around and get to the cables. So we're going to turn it. So hopefully now you can see why I recommend if you get to PlayStation, you're going to mount it vertically, or if you're going to mount it horizontally, make sure that it is very stable and that you don't need to change any wires out because again, this piece will come off. Another thing you could probably do is put some Velcro on it and put it on here and that'll keep it from falling off. So I just think Sony should have thought about that when they made it. So if you're gonna mount the PS5 vertically, it's very easy. You just grab the base, and then you just wanna turn this little base right here. Underneath there, you're gonna find a screw, and you're just gonna pop that out, just like that. Now, if you look at the bottom of the PS5, there's a plastic cover that's over there, so all I did is remove that little plastic cover, and there's a screw hole behind it. Then you take this piece right here, snap it in place, kinda of like that, put the screw back in, and then tighten it up. And that's pretty much it. So after watching this video, I hope you guys can see why I'm gonna mount my PS5 vertically. So horizontally can work, but it can come with some problems if you need to change anything around. So I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below, because I make these videos for you guys, and I hope that this helps you out. I'm Tech Steve, make sure you go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.